This is a Tyranid army list of 1,850 points that I used at the St. Val Grand Tournament. Uh, this is the list I used, and uh, here we go. This is just a little flyby of all the stuff in the army. Overall, the army performed mediocre. I think I, I won two, drew two, and lost one. I like the army. It's a little bit of everything. It's more of a balanced Tyranid force. Let's go over actually what is in the list. For HQ, I have a Warrior Prime. He's got Bone Sword Lash Whip combo, as well as Parasiting Talons and Toxin Sacks. I like to run the Toxin Sacks on him so he can reroll wounds when need be, so you don't just roll and go, aw oh, man. And the Scything Talons I like. Yes, he could have had a ranged weapon. I just like rerolling once. He's more of a combat monster. A little shooting here and there wasn't going to make much of a difference. Okay, for troops, uh, we have two Turvagons, so those big bloody things on the back to the left. They both have Toxin Sacks. Now, I should have ran Adrenal Glands as I was playing the games in the tournament, but I ran just Toxin Sacks on them. So they have Toxin Sacks, Onslaught, and Catalyst. Now, I like having the option to have Onslaught so I could run the Zone Thorps up and also shoot. And the Catalyst is nice so you can give Feel No Pain to different squads of guys. So, overall, I like having both the powers. Then for troops, I have a squad of 17 Gaunts with Toxin Sacks. Now, I already put Toxin Sacks on them just in case they ran away from the Turvagons, which actually helped me out quite a few times because I wasn't right next to them. They got pulled out in an assault, so actually having Toxin Sacks stock on them helped. I also have two squads of eight Gene Stealers with Toxin Sacks. Toxin Sacks is a must on Gene Stealers, almost on par with Feeder Tendrils. You hit Guard or you hit Space Marines, you charge them, rerolling wounds is absolutely retarded. Like, overpoweringly awesome for Gene Stealers. I love it. Also, wounding on fours is nice. Oh, look, that Demon Prince comes in. Oh, look, take 5-6 uh, armor saves plus 2-3 rends. It's a lot nicer than oh, all it can do is rend on you. Dang. I like it a lot. So those are the troop choices. Yes, the Gene Steelers have a hard time scoring, but you have the one big squad of Gaunts, which you can attach the Warrior Prime to if you need to. You also have the two Turvagons, which will spawn a Gaunt squad or more each. So you got pretty good, reliable scoring units, and the two Turvagons are Synapse. Now I'll go over the elite choices. There's a unit of three Hive Guard in the back, and then two units of Zone Thropes. Now the one unit of Zone Thrope is in the pod, and the other one is walking. Now, what I can do is the Warrior Prime, I can attach him to the one in the pod, or the walking squad, or the big gaunt squad. I was doing different things depending on what game I wanted to play. I like attaching the Warrior to, uh, like, the squad in the pod, because he can come down and, ooh, you get shot with the last cannon. Uh, I'll take a wound on the Warrior, because he's toughness 5. He does not get instant killed unless the weapon's strength 10 which is actually very nice. Also, that pod in the middle of the enemy's army gets assaulted, he's got a lash whip, he's got a power weapon, he could drop quite a few guys. It's kind of nasty. A lot of people aren't expecting him to do a lot of damage. Okay, let's move along to uh, the Hive Guard. I only had one unit in the Hive Guard, but I wanted to max out my anti-tank. Tyranids, their elite slots at this point in like the metagame and just 40k tournaments, your elite slots have to be maxed out with anti-tank. Now the only mistake I made with my elite slot setup, I should have went 6 Hive Guard and 3 Zone Thrips, was because 3 out of 5 games I ran into Psychic Hoods, 1 Space Wolf Player and 2 Inquisition Hoods, which extremely messed me up. My Warp Blasts weren't going off that often, and it was kind of annoying. I should have switched over to Hive Guard, who are more reliable, and the top tier tournament list and most mech guard players, the hood just shuts them down and those zone throw ups don't do a lot of stuff. Okay, talking about heavy support, I have a single trigon with toxin sacks. Toxin sacks is purely there, so if he needs to reroll wounds on things, you ever roll the wound and you're like, oh I rolled a one, dang. Rerolling wound is very nice for that. It's only 10 points, but when you hit something, you want to hit something. You already have reroll hits, so you, you want to have some nice wounding too. Otherwise, I didn't deep strike him at all throughout the event. He ran up. You don't need to deep strike him. He is fleet. Think about it. The Moloch should be deep striking. The Trigon should just run up unless you really want to suicide him. Then he can deep strike. I ran him up, fleeted. He was just a combat beast. Very nice. I enjoyed the Trigon a lot. Also, he's the centerpiece of my army. He looks great. Then for fast attack, I have two identical squads of three Raveners with Rending Claws. Now, Scything Talons on Raveners are mediocre, you get reroll hits, but I like the few Rends that you can do here and there. Also, if you hit vehicles, you get that nice Rending against uh, my friend Paul who was playing Razor Wolves, played against him. 
Ravener's charged. Razorback. Ooh, look, Rend, Rend, Rend. I was getting a few Rends. Blew up my six Raveners. Probably took down. I think it was two Land Speeder Typhoons and three Razorbacks total. Very nice. Otherwise, the Raveners, the whole point of them in the list is they're a big threat. Your opponent looks at them and goes, "All right, I got two, three turns before you hit me to shoot." Well, those Raveners can hit you on easily turn two. If you, you if you move up, they can hit you on turn one. The threat of a 24-inch assault range is huge. You're able to move six, fleet D6, and then assault 12. A lot of opponents aren't. They look at your Raveners and they say, okay, they can go a little faster. They have fleet. It doesn't occur to them how far they can charge until you're like, okay, I'm going to charge those guys back there. If you're going around, damn, how do you charge that? Oh my god. And it surprised a number of opponents. It was nice. However, they're glass hammers. They hit a unit, they die. I expect that. I, uh, I sacrificed three units to kill a land speeder. That's understandable, but the land speeder was going to sit there in the back shooting two crack missiles at me per turn the entire game. So, had to sacrifice them, threw them out there, did that. They, they did what they were supposed to do. It's a cheap unit, it is a kill point, but it's nice, and they have nine wounds. If your opponent isn't packing power fist, these things can sit in combat for a while. They do have a five up save and only toughness four, but they're. I enjoy them. I don't know. I like Raveners. Also, mine are converted out of Warriors, and I have nine of them, so might as well use them. Otherwise, overall, the list. I like the list. Um, it's balanced. I fill all my slots almost. I have a little heavy support, a little fast tech, full elites, lots of troops, lots of scoring. I have kind of a weak HQ, but hey, the Gene Steelers make up for it in combat. I think I got a 7 out of 20 on comp score, which was actually nice. So it's not an over-the-top tournament list, but it's balanced enough that you can go back and forth with a lot of players. It's not really a spam list. It's more of a very all-comers list. I like it. This is my like pickup game list I use a lot of times. I enjoy it. Uh, the only changes I made to it is I don't really like the pod that much, so I just bumped the genes to their squads and took out the pod. That I do that here and there. I just switch out, add two genes to theirs, take out the pod. Because there's a lot of games where I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to pod, and I just deep strike it like empty, and it just sits there and does nothing. Overall, this is the 1850 list. Actually, it comes to 1849, and you can check in the more info. I have the army list there. Okay, and uh, leave your comments what you think of it.